So, if you're anything like me, you've got an outbuilding in your garden that you really, really, for whatever reason, need to get high-speed, low-latency broadband to. Thus far, if you guys have been keeping tabs on the networking videos, we deployed a Microtik 60 gigahertz point-to-point -point link. And to be honest, between me and you, for 99.9% .9 of people, this is the easiest way to do it because it's wireless, it's just not cost-effective. I didn't realize fiber cable was so cheap. So this was on Amazon, it came next day. This is 100 meters of multi-mode fiber. So this is capable of transferring speeds up to 10 gig. Now the Microtik 60 gigahertz link that we deployed at the start of the year cost me 200 pounds, which I thought at the time was a good price compared to fiber, but I didn't realize this would be 100 quid. It's literally a pound per meter, cheaper than my wireless link and about 10 times faster. Now, a lot of people will say, Alex, why have you not just ran an ethernet cable? And there's numerous downsides to running an ethernet cable, and that's because it has actual conductors in it, which obviously can transfer a voltage. So connecting two buildings together with a copper wire just generally isn't a very good idea. Obviously, fiber is fiber. It's just light inside of a tube. As you can see, we've got Alta's brand new 24 port network switch here, which actually has SFP+. Plus. Now, there's two standards of SFP+. SFP, you've got SFP and SFP Plus. SFP Plus is 10 gig and SFP is one gig. That's all you really need to know. This is the actual fiber here. Now this doesn't go straight into the switch. You need what's called a transceiver. Now you need to get an SFP transceiver or an SFP plus transceiver if you want that 10 gig. The fiber basically plugs into this and then this can plug into your network switch or whatever you want. Maybe you've got a fiber NIC in your computer. Now, as I've said, I'll provide all the links to all of this stuff in the description. So if you just want to go down and purchase, be my guest. This, like I've said, is indoor fiber. This is outdoor fiber. So if you're going to run this stuff outside, make sure you get the outside variant with numerous layers of protection. Obviously, if you go through this thing with a spade, you're still going to need to replace it, but it just has a little bit of extra protection than this. Right, let's go to the core of the network and see how the hell I'm actually going to run this thing. I've run the cable out there, it started raining, but it's through in the loft and it's plugged into my UDM here, which is my router or router for my network. And basically everything lives in here. If you would like to see a full tour of this network build, we uploaded one last month. I'll put the link in the description. So here it is down from the top of the roof. Now it's time to run this thing over to the studio. Now, before we go into the studio to connect up our 10G fiber, it's time to thank today's video sponsor, which is thankfully NordVPN. When you're online, especially if you're connected to a public Wi-Fi, it can be really easy for hackers to intercept your data. This is why it's important to use a VPN because then your data is end-to-end -end encrypted, making it much harder for attackers to gain access. Your IP address is basically your online fingerprint, your home address, if you like, to the internet. So everything you do can be traced back to this address. If you switch on your VPN, you'll get an entirely new IP address and you can choose where that IP address is geolocated around the world. This means that on a smaller level, if you're trying to access, let's say, Netflix video that isn't available in your country, you can just switch on NordVPN, connect to the country that the content is available in, and voila, you're connected, you can enjoy the content. With it being me, I like NordVPN because when you connect to a VPN, that is the speed that you're going to get. The VPN will be the bottleneck, but NordVPN are generally pretty fast depending on what servers you use and connect to. On a two-year NordVPN plan, you'll bag yourself an extra four months for free, which is absolutely awesome. You can go to nordvpn.com forward slash techflow or visit the link in the description. And of course, try it out. Nord have a 30-day money-back guarantee, so if you're not satisfied, you've got that available too. Hope that helps, guys. Back to the video. 
Okay, so here we are at the back end of the studio now, and we still have a load of fiber remaining. I probably only needed about 50 meters, but I got 100 anyway. I just really underestimated the cost of this fiber. If I knew this was only gonna cost me 100 pounds for this reel, I wouldn't have put the wireless link in in the first place. I just assumed fiber was really expensive, but apparently it's not. If you have made it this far into the video, I've got something just a little bit special for you. I've teamed up with the guys at Alta Labs. I was chatting with them yesterday, and we've decided to give away to you guys two Alta Labs Wi-Fi access points and one of their 8-port PoE switches. So if you do want to win that gear, go and check out the TechFlow Instagram picture link in the description and all the details will be on there. Just a little something from me and Alta Labs to you guys and this isn't sponsored, just a giveaway for you. So this is the current setup in the studio. We've got the cable here coming in from our MicroTik 60 gigahertz receiver. That feeds this switch here, which is connected to a few PoE cameras, a few Wi-Fi access points in the studio and all the ethernet ports around the studio. I'm gonna be replacing this ubiquity switch with this Alta Lab switch and you'll see why in a little while. I just really now hope that our fiber cable still works. So we can remove both of our end caps here, the little protective caps over the ends of our fiber here. And then the fiber can plug into the transceiver, which goes into the Alta Lab switch. And hopefully, yes, it's alive. We didn't break the cable. So now we can take all of our Ethernets out of our previous switch up here. This one can be discarded because it's coming from the MicroTik 60 gigahertz link. And all of these can now fit into our new switch. So this switch that was in the storage room, I've now bought down here. Why? This has two and a half gig ethernet ports on it, which all have PoE, and it also has SFP+, which if you were paying attention at the start of the video, SFP+, means 10 gig. So I'm gonna order another SFP+, cable, and this switch is going to live here, and it's going to connect to the outer lab switch, which is up in the storage room, which then goes all the way back over to the house where the internet is. That is my end goal. So to prove that this is working, I've logged on to my Unify software, and as you can see in here, we've basically got the front panel of the UDM. If we click on port number 10, SFP, it'll open up the dialog box that says, as you can see, 10 gigabits per second. This isn't megabits, this isn't one gigabit, this is 10 gigabits. Proper, proper future proof. I wonder if home internet will ever get to that speed. Okay, so here we are. I've run, no, I've drilled two holes. Let me show you. So now the clocks have gone back, we've got our light out. As you can see, this is our fiber run, 10G coming over from the house. For the last few days, this has been working really, really well. I'm super happy about that. But now I'm trying to run fiber, 10G, from up here down into the studio. So again, here we have 20 meters of the fiber. And as you can see down here, I've made a massive hole and a whole load of mess. So let's see if we can get our fiber through here. Another pack of 10 gig transceivers here. And there we go, into our Alta switch, into the other 10 gig SFP plus port. Now we go down into the studio and hopefully connect the other end. I've dreamt of this day for a long time. We now have 10G in the studio. This very cable right here is coming from the house and bringing over a lot of data. Let's try this speed test, even though this isn't going to prove anything because I only get, that is the maximum that I get over the internet to my house, which is still absolutely bonkers. So if I click on my UDM here in my Unify software, you can see here that we've got a blue SFP port and that means status 10,000 FDX, which is 10G, which is coming over to the studio. Now we've got the outer lab switch sitting in the middle, so it comes over from the house into the outer lab switch and then down to here. One thing I would like to say on the outer lab side is on the actual key for the switch, there's no way other than these being white to decipher what link this is connected up to, whether it's 1G or 10G. So a lot of you might be thinking, Alex, 
What are you gonna do now you've got this 10G over to the studio? What is the point and should I do it at home? Now, I think it's a great thing to do, not only for future-proofing, but for expanding your network. So like I mentioned before, I've got CCTV cameras and things recording 24 seven, firing all of the clips back over to the house. Now they were going over the 60 gigahertz wireless link before, which again, used a little bit of our available bandwidth. But with this, it is literally using like a minuscule amount, leaving so much more room for activities. Let's say next year I wanna get a NAS, an NVMe NAS to store all of my videos. I can put the NAS in here or in my house. It doesn't matter where it lives, but wherever I am, I'm gonna have a 10G connection to that device because of the cable that we've installed today. I've also got multiple VLANs in my house with multiple internet connections. So that means I can assign certain VLANs to certain ports on this switch and just by simply removing and replacing a cable, I can switch whatever network I'm on. So this computer is now on a completely different network to what it was on before because all my VLANs are carried over too. So there you guys have it. That is running 10G to the studio. It's been something I've always wanted to do. If you've enjoyed guys, a like would be awesome but for now we'll see you in the next one peace